You know, one of the tough realities confronting many teens today is coping with cyber bullies who are determined to go after young people who may have no idea how to cope with this threat. Cyberbullying can be dangerous. It can have incredibly dangerous consequences as well with some teens taking their own lives after relentless torment. And now teens are working together in a new nationwide effort to combat this growing problem. Joining us now, Sean Eddington and her daughter, Nicole. Nicole knows firsthand how hurtful this high-tech bullying can be. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Nicole, tell me quickly, I know that you were a victim of cyberbullying at the age of 16. What happened there? I was. My senior in high school, I was a target of a cyberbullying attack. And basically what happened was I was getting a bunch of death threats over Facebook and by text message. And that's because people thought you had turned some teens in for drinking? Exactly. Um, there was a bunch of students who came to school intoxicated on the first day of our senior year, and I was wrongfully accused of being the person to turn said students in. How did that make you feel at that time, knowing that all these people were against you? It was horrible. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to trust. I didn't know who to turn to. Um, I told my parents, and they were devastated. They didn't know how to help, and it was just it was a horrible experience. I couldn't even begin to explain to you how horrible it was. Did that have an impact uh, on you throughout the rest of that school year and beyond? It definitely did. I started um, turning down invitations from my friends. I kind of tuned everything out. I didn't really trust anyone. And to this day, it still kind of affects me, but I'm, I'm starting to get through it. So, uh, so Sean, knowing that this has happened to your daughter must have been so upsetting to you. And for parents, there are so few options on how to deal with this. Tell me for a moment what impact it had on your family. Oh, it was, it was destructive. It seemed like it, it was a lifetime of just trying to get Nicole to come out and, you know, be more socially um, including, you know, inclusive with her friends. And she just turned into a different kid. And um, really, 15 million teens are dealing with cyberbullying issues and attacks throughout our country every year. And that's really the reason why we um, developed and are bringing forward the No Bull campaign, you know, to really help put an end to this. And it's a youth-led campaign, and so it's, you know, it's, it's going to be their job to stand up and stand together to put an end to Well, this campaign, this campaign actually gives kids a chance to produce videos uh, that focus on anti-bullying measures and what people can do to protect themselves. Tell us more about the campaign. Yeah, it does. Actually, um, the Noble Challenge offers 25 million middle and high school students the opportunity to write and direct their own videos and then compete in a national competition. And the really cool thing about it is, is that, you know, we are putting that together along with a red carpet awards event for um, our finalists to come and celebrate their Noble success at a star-studded event in San Francisco next year. So it's really going to be you know, different, unique, and exciting for the kids that participate. Well, let's hope so. I certainly can make a difference. Uh, it's a very, very big problem. And we appreciate the two of you joining us today to share, uh, sharing your story and telling us more about this campaign. And people uh, can take part. And hopefully, this will arm them with the tools they need to cope with this horrible problem. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us.